so it's been a week to just kind of give you a little update on what's going on with the eggs take a look at them I've since pulled the paper towel and just setting it off to the side there um, I don't know if I can catch it but you can see that there's a little bit of moisture gathering on top of the egg so uh, and there's they're all plenty firm and plump and feel a little leathery to the touch so we no longer really need the paper towel sitting on top but we'll keep an eye on especially this top one here because uh, he's most exposed to the air so that egg will be the one most likely to want to dry out and what I'll do is I'll just I could set this stuff on there just like that to help protect that egg but we'll just keep an eye on it for now we'll just set this aside and let the water inside that paper towel evaporate out um, but I want to show you something else. Uh, when I was cleaning her cage, I had found a bad egg that was pushed aside in in the wood shavings of her tank. And you can see, of course, this has been in there for almost a week, so it's a little bit worse off than what it was when it was first laid. Um, but you can clearly see the size, you know, color, size. Um, so this is a this is a slug. This is what a slug looks like. Completely bad. Pretty self-explanatory. I mean, uh, one other thing I wanted to mention that I should have said in the first video is, unlike bird eggs, snake eggs, so which, whatever way they're laying, or whichever way is top when they are laid, that must remain the top. You know, bird eggs, you'll rotate them. Snake eggs, lizard eggs, yeah, keep them facing up the way they were laid. Uh, so that way uh, the embryo doesn't die inside there. There's there's an air bubble that develops on the top side of the egg, and that's always got to remain on top. Um, also, I mentioned in the last video about how these eggs are had adhered to each other, and that some people cut them apart. Uh, it's kind of I kind of misspoke. What they really do is uh, is you gotta catch them almost as soon as they're laid. Like these have probably been far too long. But uh, what you do is you gotta keep the egg wet and uh, and slowly and very carefully pull them apart where uh, where they're touching at. Um, but it's very tricky. You can damage one or both the eggs. So I just always leave mine and clustered together like this so just quick update so far all looks good uh, I don't see any going bad one of the things I would look for from this stage on obviously that is an easy one right away um, now the next thing we want to watch for is mold mold will only grow on the bad eggs um, and it, for in this case, if it was one of these middle ones to grow mold, um, you would get a little bit just where it's connecting to the next egg, but that doesn't necessarily mean that egg's bad. But uh, you'll get mold growth, and then the other thing to look for is a total collapse of the egg. Uh, not like the dimpling that I spoke about in the last one where you get a little dimples in the egg, but the egg would just totally start to collapse in on itself. And uh, I generally try to cut those out or remove them from the batches as soon as they're discovered. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Hopefully next time I shoot video on these it's when we got little babies pipping. So thanks for watching and as always rate, comment, and subscribe. And thank you.